Um, so it's been a roller coaster for me. Lots and lots of ups and downs. It's gone crazily quickly. Yes, it's really different to what I expected. It's been an interesting semester, very interesting. It's, I've learned a lot, made a lot of friends, but it's also been quite difficult in some places and quite stressful. It has been a very difficult phase. My semester is okay. I feel like I'm settling in. Okay, the semester has been BC, assignments, assessments, and practicals. Staying up really late, procrastination. Uh, learning the traffic rules to the, yes, going to a shopping mall, you know, using the online system. It's, it's yeah, everything is a learning experience here. Yeah. Uh, really, I mean, it was stressing. There, uh, I mean, there was uh, too much work to do. Examination, presentations, uh, assignments. Uh, lots of reading, lots of articles, lots of research articles. No more spoon feeding. So it's a bit freaky, but then I'm starting to get the hang of it. Um, I'm teaching myself how to be independent. Um, so far, I've really enjoyed it. But I am enjoying it. I am learning so much. I mean, things are really new for me, but there is so much to, uh, for, for me to, to learn. Having a great time at the moment. It's definitely a lot more, lot more fun. It's definitely not what I expected, but I'm really enjoying it. So, so far, everything is going well. Um, it might be because uh, I have planned things uh, very systematically. It's just been a bit of a milestone. I've loved the whole experience. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a place that I belong in. It felt really weird the first few weeks, but now I feel like I know the place. and real experiences. My story on how I, how difficult it was and how I managed to move on, you know, how I managed to get through. They, it should inspire them and feel that, okay, she did it, why can't we? Academically, things did get a bit more difficult, a um, bit more testing. First year or first semester, I've heard is um, revision of year 11 and 12 and I've definitely found that to be the case in my familiar subjects. Um, that's helped me to succeed to some extent. There has been new content and that's been really refreshing um, and intellectually stimulating and I've just taken that on board. Uh, it's been more than I expected, definitely. Um, I wasn't quite prepared for it when I first started but I've, in, I've embraced the challenge I think and it's, it's going alright so it's not too hard I don't think. There are so many things to learn and you don't know, you really don't know which one to put it and you really don't know how to condense it. It was very difficult, but then I guess I learned a lot. But I also like the different sort of workload compared to high school that you did, so it's more independence. You can sort of do your own thing without having to be harassed about when something's due, it's all up to you. And I like having that form of responsibility. I had one massive um, psychology lab report and I haven't received the result yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll pass that one. Yeah, writing, writing assignment, reading assignment, I mean, every day I was, I was getting something to do. And I had two major linguistic assignments, and I did really well on that. So I got high distinctions on both of them, so I'm glad. So you learn so, much real, so many really cool things, but like, you can argue them. With, especially with the lecturer, he likes to argue with his, with his students. It's, it's awesome. I am enjoying a lot because this is a new experience for me. Um, in, in my country, the classroom discussions are really different. Uh, it's not, it's uh, more of a teacher uh, transmitting her knowledge rather than uh, more of a students contributing to that. Mm, 
When I went to school back home, uh, I, our teachers taught us what is mandated in the syllabus. Uh, they teach us what is there in the textbook. Uh, we go through the textbook again, we read it, and then we sit for the exam, and we are graded like based on how we perform in that exam. But here it's a continuous process. You are graded almost like every week based on your assignments and based on the number of reference you do. Um, I've had my fair share of assignments. I feel quite confident with them. I think I've done a good job in most of them. There's, a, there's always a lot of reading to do and Google really helps. <laughs> Sometimes I feel difficulty in presenting the content which I have read because of uh, language barrier. Um, and when I start speaking, I have to struggle with the vocabulary and all that. Yeah, um, overall, in general, I found that the content itself, it's not too difficult. Um, it's just pretty much me. I have to manage myself and just get back on track. This year, I've just taken um, a strategy of chipping away at them rather than kind of leaving them to the last sort of week that they're due. Um, I, I'll write bits of paragraphs here and there if I have an essay due. This is a basically good practice to, uh, for Asian students, I would say, because in Pakistan, I mean, we have very flexible time. I mean, but yeah, for, uh, so I, uh, initial few days, I had to struggle, but I mean, uh, I'm happy that I did, didn't uh, make any mistake uh, about time management. So yeah, I'm, I'm, now I'm learning, you know, how to improve this, uh, this is skill of time management. Yeah. Mm, once I figured out like my clashes and everything, it got okay because I can watch the lectures online, except when they do over time and I can't watch it end. Like I used to set deadlines for myself and uh, preparing drafts, multiple drafts of the single assignment, but writing 5,000 words for one course is very complicated. You need to read a lot and um, uh, sometimes it becomes difficult when you are not in habit of reading lots of literature and incorporating it in the essay. Yeah, I'm enjoying them and even a challenge to try and complete assignments maybe by three on the dot, no, no plus or minus. So now it's a good challenge because it's teaching me even in life how to do things on time without delays or ass assumptions that I have all the time. Yeah, I guess it is a lot of work but I guess if you can keep on top of it, it's okay. Um, making new friends and just pretty much experiencing the uni life, it's something that's really completely different from high school. My favourite aspect, um, I'd say the atmosphere, probably. The people and the lecturers and the tutors. Mm, the social side has been exciting. I didn't expect it, but it has been lovely meeting friends across the entire continents. The aspect I enjoy the most about uni is probably the social aspect. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like I've made way more friends than I have in my rest of my entire life. <laughs> okay, the, the best is, okay, everywhere I go, even if somebody doesn't know they smile, they smile back. So that's lovely, so you feel at least somebody is, yeah, you feel, you feel a sense of belonging, yeah. When you're in that close classroom environment and you can get to know the person properly sitting next to you. So I've made a um, few friends in my stats and accounting tutorials. Getting to know people from around the world. I've, like, I have a friend from Japan, from Portugal, like places I've never been to before and I, would really like to travel with them one day, so that's another opportunity. Yes, I have made a lot of friends. Uh, one good thing about um, my class is that I have people from different countries, so we get to know when, when we are in class, we get to know their perspective and all. And it's exciting when you are sharing, when sharing their experiences from across all those continents, it's a good experience. I've liked it, I've loved it. It's good, now I have made quite a few friends here who are Australian. I mean, in my class, there are many international students. So it is also a new experience for me. People are from USA, from Canada, from different parts of, from Africa, 
and many other countries of Asia. So my class fellows are coming in the evening and they are working the whole day. So I can say my social life is not that much social in true terms uh, because uh, I get less time for interaction. I joined the science union but everything is 18 plus so I can't, I can't go. I get that uni is made for like people that are trying to be adults and they all do party stuff and get drunk but I'll get there in two years. <laughs> um, I, as part of the Multicultural Student Union, um, we're having a ch charity concert. And um, so I auditioned um, two days ago and I got the part. So I'll be performing, singing. I'm really nervous about it, but I'm willing to give it a go. Having a great time at Trinity. It's lots of fun, meet loads of, people, loads of people, and there's always social things happening, which I really enjoy. Um, well, recently we had the, um, the Cross College Lip Dub, which I don't know if you've heard of it. No, it's, it's the big inter-college competition where like a couple hundred students from each college get together and do a, a one long video of um, people um, sing, lip, -syncing, lip singing to a song. Uh, I am enjoying using this gym a lot. I didn't even know we had an art gallery until last week. <laughs> I, I, I am learning driving as well, so I have started driving, so I'm exploring different places as well. I like um, being able to walk around a lot when it's not raining and being able to study outside is pretty cool. The most challenging would be to keep up with the lectures, the readings and the assessment because no one checks pretty much. So I've missed a couple, but that's all right. I thought it would be about the same as high school, but it just got a lot harder, so. Um, probably the biggest challenge was just being that responsibility again. Like part of it I feel I'm confident with, but other part is you need to write everything down, remember when's happening, but not just uni stuff, but social stuff like personal stuff, when I need to be here, when I need to meet with this person. I'm not used to procrastinating this much. Like, I'm used to doing things, but now I just see something and it's so big that I, I'm just like, no, I'll stay away from it. Do anything except homework. And not having a mum to nag you around when to do certain things. Most difficult or the challenging aspect of my uh, stay in the university till now, it has been the assignment. Because we are having assignment uh, almost every day. I mean, I was not ex expecting that much uh, assignments, that much work. Because 5,000 words are too much. Studying a lot, especially recently, because of lots of big things coming up. You start studying until 4 or 5 a.m. because you just have to keep studying. So I've, probably being tired has been one of the most challenging things getting up in the mornings. I'm not used to studying a lot on weekends and yeah that's been a big change like not having weekends anymore just always doing schoolwork. Zero zero sleep I think last night I had four hours I had to get up at like nine for a tutorial and I went to bed at like five-ish yeah. I am coming back to I like I mean I'm going back to class almost after 10 years uh, it's very difficult uh, the other reason could be because of the difference in academic culture. You know, adjusting to the system initially and adjusting now to Australia. Having come from a very remote um, country, Australia is so different from my home country. Uh, to cite an example, uh, when I had my internet connection, when I talked to them, I thought that the uh, connection fee would be 120. And when I got the first bill, it amounted to 427 and, you know, it, it was so difficult. So I, I guess there are a lot of surprises coming in. I'm used to be able to just do my work at home because I was homeschooled, but now I have to factor in transport. And then yesterday there was this massive jam on Mounts Bay Road and it took an hour to get here just from Esplanade bus port. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. So. The most challenging. Um, a couple of big family life events have happened recently, a couple of losses in the family um, and 
uni is somewhere where you, you go, you go to your lecture, you take your test and you leave. It's, it's less personal than high school, it's less of accommodating for those events than high school um, in terms of attendance and numbers and that sort of thing. But again, I've just taken each day as it's come and um, it's been a personal sort of milestone learning to cope with, with those events and knuckle down with my family and get through it together. I absolutely love this campus. It's really tranquil and the peacocks, they make me happy. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a really good environment. It's a really good learning environment, especially um, like when I'm, whenever I'm feeling down and stressed, you know, um, I just go out to the oak lawn or something like sitting under the tree and just breathe. <laughs> Because sometimes I, I forget um, just how to be mindful and take care of myself. Well, uh, Australia and UWA is full of support. You ask somebody something, you say, go right, left, uh, turn. All the students, coordinators, I mean, there are so many people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, no one say no here. I've liked about... Uh, I've loved a lot about the people here. They can't leave you stranded, they'll direct you. My tutors have been excellent in terms of um, listening out to how we're individually going. One thing I like about the lectures here, I didn't expect it. They are, okay, they are very friendly. Anytime somebody has a problem, they'll, they'll guide you. The mentor program, which I've got my mentor, and he's helped me out a lot with, when I was asking, I was asking about re, uh, online resources and, um, just like things about assignment questions and that, he helped a lot. Being part of um, a community, I'm part of the Multicultural Student Union. I'm friends with a lot of um, second and third year students and I ask them for um, help and advice. My social circle has expanded since week one. Um, so I've definitely drew, drawn on support from my long-term friends and new friends. I have joined LES and they are organising different units so I get time to you know, socialise with international students more than the native speakers here. Yeah, I'm part of LES and that's where I've met most of them now besides the classmates. Um, I, was I was feeling a bit down but then um, my family came here from Indonesia, so the whole lot, my grandma, my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law um, and they're pretty, they're pretty much here um, for a while just to support me. Study smarter. I entertained the, their class on how to write academic research, writing and all. I had to attend that because it was so difficult. Like uh, if I want to ex uh, share my experience of my first essay when I was writing, I was very confused because I was not aware of uh, what this context is demanding from me. So I went to study smarter people and they look at my write-up and they guided me so well that uh, it helped me a lot in second assignment specifically. I've seen the um, WA counsellor or psychologist and I also um, spoke with the first year advisor and so they were there for me when I was feeling low and when my family wasn't here yet. So it's, it's really good that, I'm, that I know my um, weakness and I'm seeking support. Um, the most support I go to is the maths drop-in sessions. I go there and uh, I'm staying at Trinity and so the tutorials that I put on every Monday night, I find they're really helpful as well. I know a lot of my friends, like they're having similar problems but they don't know where to get help. So then I recommend them um, to do the tri um, triage session and to just pretty much talk to someone. It's like all the online resources and everything, it's all um, tailored to one purpose, which is to help you advance yourself and your career goals. It just feels really good to be part of that, yeah. Like I know I, I will receive, I, I will get that support from others, but in the end it's me, it's myself who, needs to um, who needs to study to push myself and to do the work to do, to do the actual work itself yeah we recently got our exam timetables so um, 
some of us have been living in denial and not opening that file and others you know, have them in all, of our cal in, our, in all of our calendars and our phones and stuff. There's always that one subject that you're not going to, you don't think you'll pass. Then we will have another crush unit that is just 13 days uh, unit, but uh, I'm worried for that because as I'm a Muslim and that is a fasting month and uh, we will having class like seven hours uh, in a day. So during fast, you know, <laughs> it would be tough. <laughs> I think I might fail one. I don't like chemistry, <laughs> so I really have to study, but I don't pay that much attention in chemistry lectures. <laughs> I should pay more attention. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm very much happy with this semester. And I was, uh, I mean, you were uh, asking about the expectation. Uh, I, uh, I, I mean, I didn't knew that there would be so many things to learn. I don't know. I thought everyone would be like in relationships and stuff. At I also thought I'd see drunk people everywhere, so no, not yet. Or maybe I can't tell. I was thinking, you know, in Pakistani perspective, but uh, that is totally different uh, in that case. I mean, I learned uh, so many things, so many new things. Yeah, and uh, I'm really, I feel really confident now. I'm not feeling too stressed out. But um, my motivation is a bit low, and so I'm, I need to work on that. Uh, I don't know whether I'm happy or I can't say if I'm happy, but I'm really enjoying, I'm learning. Yes, I have learned a lot. I would say I'm feeling very confident. Actually, uh, uh, the units uh, which UWA is offer offering, it is uh, just, I mean, they are targeting the industry. I mean, in one unit, after one unit, I'm, I feel that I can, I'm, I'm ready to go anywhere to work. And... Uh, yet, yes, but then things are settling. Uh, I'm learning, yes, and I should say it again and again. Yes, I'm learning the Australian ways of things and I'm finally getting a feel of okay, what it is to be in a developed country. I've learned to manage my time better and I've stayed up a lot later. Um, it seems like that I have improved my write-ups a lot. I have improved my speed of reading a lot. Uh, I know how to look for the appropriate literature. So there are improvements at different levels. If I know people are going to be watching this, I want them to see me as having done well. <laughs> so yeah, that, it, it did help a bit, this project. I received the UWA Merit, um, Diversity and Merit Award, and that was $2,000, so that's really good. And I haven't used it yet. <laughs> but I'm sure it will be useful for, especially for paying textbooks and everything like that. So I am in the distinction category, so that's an achievement. Being excited is good, but keep in mind that challenges, are, challenges will be along the way. And I guess at the start, I wasn't prepared for, you know, the crazy ride of uni life. I mean, I know people, people keep telling me, oh, it's, it's just your first year, you know, just have fun, relax, but um, I'm relaxing, I'm making friends, but I don't know, somehow it's just me being anxious and like I said, I need to work on that. Like what I've learned in this semester, the crazy ups and downs, um, is to hang in there and to seek support. Gazani UW has a lot of support, it's just that um, people are not gonna know if you need the support, people are not going to know if you're feeling down or sad. Um, so you have to speak up. Yeah, I just have to tell myself from time to time that hang in there and you'll be fine. <laughs>